special behavior of the group by clause. We're going to look at how the group by sorts, how we can actually group on multiple columns, how nulls behave with group by, and the use of the distinct and all clauses. Sorting with group by. Here I have a query that simply selects the count of all shows from the show table. It will give me a count of all the shows. I'm going to make that query a little more complicated and I'm going to count the shows based on the acts in the show table and I'm going to group by the act ID. So here's a count of rows in my show table, 152 rows. So now I'm going to run the group by on the act and the show ID count. This breaks down the show table into about a third the number of rows, summing up all the shows for each act. Now we'll do something different. We're going to do the same query, except we're going to override the sort order of the group by act ID. As you can see, this is sorted in act ID order. And we're going to change it to the number of shows that we counted. As you can see, the highest number of shows are down here, and the act IDs are all completely unsorted. So the group by clause will sort based on what it's grouping by. And we can override that order with the order by clause. As we can see here, my simple query turned into a group by, and then I overrode its sort order by ordering by the count on the show ID. Now what I'm going to do is I'm not going to sort based on the count of the shows, but on a rename of the count show ID column. So I'm going to group by act ID and then override the sort on the act ID by ordering by the shows column. I change the column name. And here's my query. Now I've renamed the column to shows and I've ordered by shows in ascending order. Group by on multiple columns. I can group by multiple columns. So here I'm selecting the dot name, which is the venue name, and a dot name, which is the act name, and I'm counting all shows for each act within each venue. So therefore, I'm now going to group based on the venue and the act. First thing I want to do, since I'm now reporting names, which are fairly large, is I'm going to apply a format specification. Let's go back to our query and copy in my multiple column group by. As you can see, the names have gone more or less off the screen, so I can't see what I'm doing. I didn't change the names of the venue and act columns, so I'm going to change those names and apply the same query and get a readable result. Now I can see that I have, at the Shoreline Amphitheater, I have five shows. Two of them are this one, and each one of these has a single show. Now let's go and override that sort order, just to demonstrate the act of order by overriding the group by sort order, and order it based on venue within act which doesn't really make sense since there is a one-to-many relationship from venue to act, but it will demonstrate how order by can resort group by. Now we will have venues, completely out of order, sorted within acts. Nulls and group by. What do we need to know about nulls and how they behave with group by? Most grouping functions return a null when past the null value. The only function that doesn't is count. Count will always return a single row. A count of nothing is actually zero. And it will return a row that says zero. Select some null from dual will sum nothing and therefore will return nothing, null. Let's demonstrate that. I count null from dual and I get zero rows. That is a single row. 